My name is Tom Aspinall, currently 6 and 0 in MMA, uh, two time British grappling champion and one time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion. Current uh, heavyweight AFC champion and future UFC champion. What do you think of that? Okay. <laughs> Well, what happened in the last fight was um, I was supposed to be fighting a guy who was a really good Thai boxer. His record was like something like 25 and one or 25 and two. You know, international Thai boxer, K1. He's been to like the World Grand Prix and all that kind of stuff. But for whatever reason, he didn't turn up on the day. So apparently, he had a flat tire or something. So ended up with a last-minute replacement, which was a bit of a pain because I've been training like you know blocking the leg kicks and been training specifically for him for like six weeks. So. It was a bit of a pain, but it would have been the same result. I would have got the takedown and still uh, finished on the ground. So I, I ended up taking my opponent down. Uh, get him in the crucifix and just just landing the short strikes till the ref pulled me off, basically. Well, the thing is, is I get asked this question quite a bit, to be honest. And um, the answer is I don't really know what's happening. I never know what's happening with, uh, with my fights and stuff like that. And people always try and like give me advice. They say, "Oh, you need to be doing this and stuff like that." But as far as I'm concerned, the only people that I need to be listening to are my coaches. You know, I've, my two coaches are my dad, Andy Aspinall, and Colin Heron. Who, like I'm 20 years old, they've both been involved in the sport within fights and you know martial arts longer than I've been alive. So, you know, it's not it's not my place to go questioning, you know, their knowledge or anything like that. I just they organise all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter who it's against or where it is. I just Train as hard as I can, 100% every day, and then I'll turn up and fight 100% and win. And nothing else is my concern, really. So. Well, first of all, Cowbond is like, for me, it's the best gym in Europe. You know, where I train is in Liverpool, which is, you know, 35 miles away from my house, so I've got to travel every day, but it's, it's absolutely no problem. And, you know, obviously, they just open one here in Wigan, which is super local for me, it's like five miles away. So it's just, it's really a privilege for me to be training and teaching over here. And um, obviously I love, I love MMA, this is my sport, this is what I want to do, you know, every single day. So for me to help other people, especially like the kids coming, coming through, you know, this is my sport, I want to see it last for a long time in this country. So I want to try and help the kids as well. The kids who are into training, you know, it's better than being on the streets and all that kind of thing. Just get them in training any way that I can help out. I will anywhere that I can help with the gym, you know, people's progression, I'll, I'll help as much as I can. It's pretty perfect, to be honest, what we've got going on down here. We've got like um, all the separate disciplines for kids. We've got like kids wrestling, kids boxing, Thai boxing, Jiu Jitsu, uh, BJJ, obviously Jiu Jitsu as well. And um, MMA, we've got kids MMA classes, so for anyone who's got kids, get them down to train, you know, get them started early, get them get them disciplined. I'm, uh, I'm super confident with my, stri uh, my striking. The thing is I train with, you know, in my opinion, the best gym in Europe, like I just said. And uh, striking every day, mixing up with the best people there is in striking. But whenever anyone can defend me takedown, that's when I'll show me striking in the fight. If you want to learn how to fight MMA, carbon.com. If you want to learn how to take someone down and submit them, or just general awesome jiu-jitsu, AspinallBJJ.com. If you want to get top fight wear and clothing, fight-central.co.uk.